All right, this tutorial series will feature a local area networked multiplayer top-down shooter, automatic server browser. So we'll have a server browser on the game and it will automatically find devices that are hosted on that IP address. And it will feature lag compensation, which a lot of tutorials I've looked into have not shown. So that's why I'll be showing all these extra things and I hope you guys will enjoy. All right, you're gonna hit project, you're gonna go to project settings. We're gonna scroll down, we're gonna hit window. All right, and we're gonna set our size to 1920 by 1080 and set the test height to 1280 by 720. Then we're gonna scroll down and set our stretch mode to 2D and our aspect to keep. Let's make a new script. We're going to call this network. All right, I'm going to just find some variables. We're going to need a default port and our max clients. Then we're going to need the server and client. These will be enets. We're just saying them as global variables for now, so then we can access them later. Then we're just going to set an IP address, and that will just be a string. Then in the ready function, we're going to be checking if our OS name is Windows. Then we'll set our IP address equal to the IP.get local addresses three, uh, index three. And this will also be working on Android. So Android uses index zero and will fall back on index three. This is usually where the IPv4 address is on your device. Sometimes our IP address might not be the third index if on our Windows device. For instance, my laptop does not give me that uh, correct address. So in this case, we will be using a for loop that will go through all the IP local addresses and checks if it begins with 192.168. This is the subnet we will be checking in and it's usually what home routers will use. Then we'll just set the IP address to the IP. Next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to connect some signals that connected the server signal and the server disconnected signal to ourself. The first thing we want to do for both of the signals is when we connect a server, we just want to print successfully connected and same for the server disconnected. That way we can make sure we are actually connecting to the server in the debug. Now above this, I'm just going to put in the create server code. So it'll just make a new multiplayer enet, which creates the server with the default port at the maximum clients. And then it sets the network peer for the tree, which basically tells the scene tree that we're using this multiplayer enet. And same for join server, we're just going to make it our multiplayer enet. We're going to tell the create client at the IP address right here with the default port. And that's everything for network code. So next you want to hit project, project settings, auto load, load in your network.gd as a singleton. The next thing we're going to want to do is add a user interface node. We're going to name this network setup. Now we're going to add in our control node under that. Now we're going to rename this control node to multiplayer configure. And we're going to set the layout to full rectangle. Then we're going to add a button. And I also imported my fonts, uh, downhill.ttf. You can find the, all of the assets in the Google Drive and you just import those by dragging them into here. I'm gonna rename this button to create server. Then I'm gonna set the text to create server. And now to add our custom fonts, I'm just gonna hit custom fonts. So we need to make a new dynamic font. So right click in file system, new resource, add a dynamic font. We're gonna name this dynamic font to base font. In this dynamic font, we're gonna hit settings. We're gonna set the size to 64. We're going to check use mipmaps, use filter, and we're going to select the font data and drag it in, which is our TTF file. So now we have that font set up. We can go back into our create server button, drag in the base font. All right, next you're going to hit layout and you're going to hit center. Now we're going to go 692.5 for the X position and 338 for the Y position. We're going to set the size to 535 for the width and 176 for the height. And that's our button. Now we can duplicate this and we'll call this join server and we'll set the text to join server. Now I'm gonna go down the rectangle and set the height to 564. And there you go, we have the two buttons. Then we're gonna add another node under the multiplayer configure. We're gonna add a line edit. We're gonna rename this line edit to server IP address. And we're gonna set the layout for this to center top. And then I'm gonna set the alignment to center. And I'm gonna set the placeholder to text to enter IP address. Now go over the custom fonts, drag in your base font. For position, 537.5117. And for the size, I'll do 845104. And if the text is offset, just change the placeholder text and that should fix it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to click multiplayer setup. We're going to add a new node, add a canvas layer. I'm going to right click on the canvas layer. I'm going to add a label. We're going to set the align to the label to center and the V align of the label to center. And then we're going to add a custom font. We're going to drag in our base font. I'm gonna click on layout and we're gonna do bottom wide. And for the size on this, I'll set the position in the Y to 930 and the size in the Y to 150, which should align everything nicely. Now I'm just gonna add a script to network setup. And before we start adding stuff to our script, click on your, your create server button, go to signals, add the press signal back to the network setup and do the same for join server as well. So we're gonna get our multiplayer configuration UI, which is just our multiplayer configure, which is this right here in the scene tree. And we're gonna get our server IP address and our device IP address. Now we're gonna connect the player connected signal, the player disconnect signal, and the connected the server signal to ourself. And then in the ready function, we're also gonna add our device IP address.txt equals network.ip address. 
this will set this, it will set the text right here to the network IP address right now. So we're gonna do underscore player connected and underscore player disconnected. And we're just gonna print player has connected, player has disconnected and their IDs, which these are the signals that are connected up here. Now, when we create the server, we just wanna hide the multiplayer configuration UI and we wanna tell the network to create the server. Now, when we join the server, we wanna make sure that the server IP address that text is not blank. So we're gonna be entering that IP address make sure it actually has val a text in it. And then it'll hide the multiplayer configuration UI and set the IP address equal to the text that you input into this field and then it'll tell the network to join the server and that should be all of our code this will establish a simple multiplayer connection so we can hit the play button and i'll just select this uh, network setup scene and it'll run the game now to run the game twice i'm actually going to open another instance of godot and i'm going to hit run and now we have two clients running so we'll create the server on this one and then on this one we'll actually join that server using the ipv4 address and we'll hit join server and it says player has connected all right thanks for watching if you guys are interested in more of my content or like this video feel free to subscribe it helps me out a lot and i'll see you guys in the next one Ooh.